first day and I'm honestly ready to pack it up and go to bed but I just got a package from Decker Brands and I'm pretty sure these are the Uggs. I think they ship under Decker Brands if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> they are, they are, they are. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This is like everything I could have hoped and imagined. The last time I had black Uggs in general, I was working at Sephora. You had to wear black from head to toe and I accidentally spilled hand sanitizer on them and they were never the same. I'm gonna go take a shower and go the hell to sleep because I've been working for over 12 hours today. Like I'm I'm done. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Press three for medication refills or pharmacy related questions. For all other prescription inquiries, please stay on the line for the next available representative. Hi, I was just wondering if I needed to refill my birth control. Do I contact you guys to do it or do I contact my pharmacy? Uh, let me take a look. Okay. And what medication did you say? Um, norethadone, acetate, and ethanol. <laughs> okay, you're, so you should have more refills on the pile. Okay, so just call them. Yep. Hi, I just wanted to refill my birth control prescription. Yeah, we have it. We'll go ahead and get that ready for you. Okay, thank you so much. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. I don't know how these get dirty literally every time I wear them. I'm over wearing glasses. I need laser eye for real. What's good you guys? It is Friday. I got a late start to the day just because honestly after yesterday I just slept and I let myself sleep for as long as I wanted. So I got a late start, cleaned my room because it needed it. I didn't even want to show you guys the before because it was that bad. And after cleaning I just took a quick little shower and now I'm about to take all of my health supplements. I took my birth control and I just got the refill cause girl, can't get caught up out here. Not that I'm at any risk, but I've always been anxious about taking medications that require like a refill and require constant attention such as birth control. And that leads me to this conversation. I think ever since I got diagnosed with my autoimmune stuff, everything has just amplified for me when it comes to health anxiety. But I experience health anxiety to like an uncomfortable level even with the birth control like to the point where i'm like freaking out if anything goes out of place if anything goes out of whack i'm extremely cautious when it comes to me and my health i feel like i've kind of always been like that but it just amplified a lot over the past two years it's almost like a double-edged sword where i'm like overly cautious about everything that i'm doing but at the same time i'm kind of scared to go to the doctor i just don't like doctors but i guess it kind of makes sense because in order to get diagnosed, I had to go through a lot of hell with a lot of different hospitals, a lot of different doctors. I understand the psychology behind why I feel the way that I feel. Regardless, because of the way that my body works, I'm always going to have to constantly go to multiple different doctors. Um, so I'm just going to have to get over that shit. <laughs> In everyday life, to keep myself sane, I have been going absolutely berserk when it comes to trying to preserve the... It's my father. We can put the Christmas tree up today. I'm gonna film it. I'm gonna film a little bit of it, but just not you. You'll just be a ghost in the background because you're camera shy. Yeah, I am camera shy. Wait, before you leave, say hi to the vlog. The vlog is what I'm filming. Hey, how y'all doing? They can't answer in real time. All right, I'll talk to you later. Love you. Okay, but anyway, I've been taking emergency literally every single day. I remember in my last vlog, I was saying that people were getting sick around me and I, it's been a week, crossing my fingers, but I have successfully dodged literally everybody and this is what I've been doing. So I'm about to take this right now. I found pink lemonade flavored emergency. Emergency is so disgusting to me, but I suck it up and take it. I have this water. I actually bought this and my dad was like, what the hell is this? It's um called liquid death. I actually got water in cans on purpose because I tend not to drink water that much. So when I put it in a can form, it kind of tricks my mind into feeling like I'm drinking soda. That sounds so bad, but it's the truth. And I've actually drank more water because of it. So shout out Liquid Death. Sponsor me, please. And then on top of that, I also I was on the phone with my mom the other day talking about my health anxiety. So she told me to get this. I actually was taking these religiously in the beginning of the pandemic and I kind of fell off. As we all know, I take like 5,000 medicines, okay? And I adding more medicine to the medicine I already have to take is just like, it, I just don't want to do that. But because of this past week, I've just been on my, <laughs> I've been on my A plus game with this. So this is vitamin D3. It helps with bone and immune support. So I take two of these. I mean to do this every single time we take the D3 because I hate taking these. 
Um, I mean to take the D3 after I take this, but I always forget and I always have to suffer through the consequences. This is the same brand that I'm using for this. This is Emergency, but their Elderberry Daily Immune Support and Botanical Gummies. It's not disgusting. They're actually pretty good for Elderberry Gummies, but the texture is just throwing me off and they're huge gummies. Like, absolutely not. Wash it down with this real quick. I'm just gonna check it. Okay, so now that I've gotten all of my health supplements out of the way, it is currently 3.06. I'm gonna go to the mall. I really wanted to get this last week, and I told myself that I was gonna hold off on it, but this week I'm gonna go get it. I really wanted this uh, North Face rain jacket. I know, weird one. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and get that rain jacket. I might get more stuff from Lush because I have an obsession. I used up all my bath bombs already from my last vlog, which was literally last week, so I need to get more bath bombs. And I actually need to go to the dollar store. If you guys don't know, both of my jobs are service jobs and one of them has like kind of like a catering aspect to it. I want to have holiday and Christmas decorations so I'm gonna go to the dollar store and see what I can find. I also need to get like a pack of holiday cards because I have a lot of cards to mail out and give out this holiday season. I think that's it. Oh I just got a package from Target. It's a floor lamp that matches my side lamps because my bedroom actually has no overhead lighting. Only the bathrooms and it's dark as hell especially because the sun goes down earlier now because daylight savings it's just not giving right next to my little shelving unit i'm hoping that the floor lamp fits but i'm not going to unbox it till i come back because i just don't feel like doing all that and i had a late enough start to today so let's get going put some deodorant on y'all know what time it is this is the men's spray deodorant if you have not hopped on the train hop on it sis pop these on from yesterday oh my gosh i'm so excited to wear them you have no idea all right y'all she's ready to go it's not that cold outside so i think i'll be okay with just this sweatshirt but this is the mall fit and this is what i'm talking about look at what i'm staring at right now this is my room it is dark as hell in here <laughs> this is the oh, just came out I'm also in desperate need of a car wash, so we're definitely going to do that at some point this week because Cece is stressed. <laughs> she did not need to pop off like this. Oh, oh. Ah! I did all of this sober. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Hey, Cece, you want to go to the just remembered that there is a thrift store around here. My old roommate Gwen definitely knows where it is, so I'm about to hit her up because I don't even remember the name of the store. But it's like basically like a bougie little thrift store. She took me there one day and she was like, I feel like you would like this place. And she was right. Hopefully she answers the phone. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Oh, I called her wrong number. <laughs> oh. Hey. I wanted to know where the thrift store is that you took me to in college because I really want to go. <laughs> when you look it up, I saw the name of it, I would notice it. Okay. I was like, what is this place? It is! It is! Thank you! Although it's been said Many times, many ways Merry Christmas Starbucks, what can I get started for you today? Hi. Can I have a venti pink drink? Right, it's gonna be $5.99 at the window. Mom, if you don't know me, keep it silent. Keep it on low, ski on the low. Okay, I just got back home. I am gonna do a mini mall haul to show you guys what I got and also a couple things from that thrift store. But first, we gotta put this bad boy together. I'm gonna unbox this and finish watching Samantha Joe's Vlogmas because I love her. Okay. 
Okay, first let's start off with the reason why I went to the mall in the first place. I ended up getting this jacket and this is the one that I've been having my eye on for a couple of years actually. It's the North Face. I think it's called Antora Jacket. He actually found it in the back after he said that it was out of stock. I think it was hiding in between something else. So I got my jacket. Next place, because I'm really excited about it, is that thrift store that me and Gwen used to go to. I said in my last vlog that I have two leather jackets coming from Fashion Nova. I still haven't received them. They are in transit though, at least that's what it said on my email. So hopefully they get to my house soon. But I found this brown leather jacket, which I've never had one before. And it just reminds me of like my grandfather, both of them. I have two grandfathers and they both kind of wear stuff like this out. This jacket is literally $19.99. This is the Polo brand. I'm pretty sure a jacket like this will probably run you about 50 to 100, $150. Ooh. It is a little worn, but I love the jacket. I love the way that it looks. I got it out of the men's section. It's definitely like a manly fit, obviously, but I definitely think I can dress this up. I can definitely play around with it a little bit, maybe cuff up the sleeves, this flannel. I'm just a sucker for flannels. Muted colored flannel. I haven't had a flannel in a minute. And then the next thing I got from the thrift store, this Jordan shirt for $9.99. It's just kind of like a thermal material. It's comfort over everything for me. So I just figured this could be like a throw on shirt going to run errands, going to sleep, um, going to do anything. It's just plain, it's simple. That's all I got from that thrift store. It's not giving Goodwill, but it's not giving vintage. It's like a happy medium. Next from H&M, I only got one thing because it was speaking to me. And it's this jacket. It was on sale from $75 to $33. It's this jacket by Divided. I actually used to work at H&M for a hot little minute during college. And they would put stuff on sale all the time, but I didn't think they were going to have the winter stuff on sale right now. Come on. And it's actually lined all the way through the jacket, not just on the sides, which is like a pet peeve of mine. It's even lined inside of the sleeves. Lastly, we have Lush. This bath bomb is the Snowdrift, I think. Yes, Snowdrift bath bomb. I'm excited to see what that does. This one is one that I've never seen before. It's called Goddess Bath Bomb. It's like this really pretty lavender color and then like blue on the bottom. And then this one, a classic. We love her, we need her. We can't live without her. It is Miss Sex Bomb. This is one of my favorites. I love it. It has a little rose on the inside. That was everything from the mall. I got a bunch of stuff from the dollar store. I really wanted to make my events pop in at my job. So to make them pop and make them stand out because we don't have any Christmas decorations, I took it upon myself to buy some. I also got some random cards just for different family members for this holiday season. I got these Nutcracker guys. Maybe I could put them on the tables or something. This is reminding me of when me and Gwen decorated our apartment for Christmas. If you're Christmas shopping and you're on a budget, go to the dollar store. The dollar store, high key slept on. I got some puffs. If you've been watching my vlogs, if you know, you know, okay. I am the puffs girl. I got this sign because I figured I could hang it off of the tables. I got this stocking holder, but instead of holding stockings, it would just be holding the sign like that. I tried to get like holiday neutral stuff because I don't know who is going to be at the events and I don't want it to just be Christmas because what if they don't celebrate Christmas? And then I went crazy because I had an idea to put these on the tables. So I got these bells and I got them in different colors just in case I change my mind when I get to work. So I have some of these. I got four of these ones. Two of the gold ones and then two of these red ones. I got this to put the utensils on. I got two of them and then I got two of these which are kind of Christmas geared. They're just tabletop decorations. That is everything that I bought today. I'm super 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 thrilled about my thrift store finds. I'm gonna go get dinner because I have not eaten all day. All I had was that pretzel. Um, I think I'm going to order pizza today. We're being very healthy. <laughs> Honestly it's just an order pizza type of night. I don't feel like cooking anything. I don't feel like like being healthy I don't feel like trying today and that's just the truth so I'm gonna order a pizza and then maybe we will decorate the tree later on today hopefully it doesn't play um ads in it because I'll cry I'll I literally, cry. Oh. 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 <laughs> literally right after I said it boom 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's my shit. Christmas movie of choice <laughs> volume one take those little pins take them out I think I'm screwing them on there you saw that yourself with your own blue eye. Blue eye. It's your baby. Hey, that's what y'all gonna say when y'all do this shit. You said what? Hey, that's what y'all say when y'all um, that's the Christmas music. What Christmas music? 
music. <laughs> Angels we have heard on high. It's this whole scene for me. Music played and people sang. Till this day, sometimes I cry. Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna try to put this on him. Uh, no, that's my Taco Bell. We're not doing that. All right, stay here. And don't touch my food. All right, good boy. Ready? Whoosh. Do you hate it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that, Bucky. And the little antlers. Oh my goodness. Look like you don't know what to think. <laughs> Lucky, you look so cute. Oh my god. Okay, wait. I gotta get. I gotta get this. I wanna take a picture because that's the, literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. Stand on my <laughs> he literally looks like mom. Please stop. You're embarrassing me. He hates pictures. He looks very cute. Oh, okay. He's down. Why this guy would not want to call. So now let's Say listen hi guys. as Fred and Andrew. Okay. okay, you're just not gonna get out the frame. I just got the Mod Vanilla scent by Ariana. Packaging, just like her campaign. It came. Is it broken? Low key though. Oh, I think I did get a broken one. I mean, there's like pieces of the bottle inside. Okay. Okay. I need it to like settle so I can get my final review, but it is definitely like a manlier vanilla than like my typical vanilla scents. Oh, she's actually selling them as a duo right now. When I first bought this, I only got it as a single because it was only available as a single. Even though I can't complain because I had a discount and also I had points available. So by the time I bought this, it was only $35 for this 3.4 ounce. Watch out, boosh. He's going on the other side. <laughs> He's going on the other side of my bed. I can't. So dramatic. The fragrance came with the free throw blanket when I got it. I do like it. Do I love it? It's not my favorite from Ariana so far. It's giving cloud and low key, I don't really like the cloud scent, but I like this one better than cloud. I'm gonna take my ass to sleep. My dog is tired. I'm tired. Good night. Good morning, you guys. It is 9.30 a.m., which is arguably the earliest I've gotten up in a long time voluntarily to do something. I went to Dunkin' Donuts. I haven't been to Dunkin' Donuts in such a long time. I figured I would try their holiday drinks on camera with you guys. I felt so bad because I was trying to figure out which ones they were, so I just kept ordering like random coffees. Obviously, I'm not gonna finish all these. I just want to try each flavor. This is a small brown sugar cookie cold brew. Um, because I wanted a latte. I'm usually a latte girl, but I think they misunderstood what I was saying and they gave me a cold brew. And I also have a cookie butter cold brew, so I was just like, okay, whatever, I'll just take the cold brew. So I am kind of scared because I know the cold brews are usually like a little bit more uh, strong and I'm more of like a fake coffee drinker, if you get what I'm saying. They kind of both say the same thing. Wait, I think they gave... <laughs> I think they gave me two of the same one. Okay, hold on. If they taste different, I'll let you know. But I thought I got cookie butter and brown sugar cookie. Let's find out. Let's find out. Okay. It's good. I can't tell if this is cookie butter or brown sugar. Let me try the other one. They might have given me two of the exact same one, but they are good. And then this one, I normally get my coffees with no whipped cream, but I just thought I would try the full experience for this one. This is the peppermint mocha. This one, I'll go in with the straw. If you guys have been watching my vlogs, I just explained that I just perfected my peppermint mocha recipe at home. So let's see if this one is better. I like mine better. <laughs> I don't know, it's a different type of flavoring. This one is definitely giving like a different type of taste and sensation. It's not bad, but it's definitely way different than mine. Also, and unfortunately, it is raining today, so I will not be getting my car washed, but I do have a couple of errands to run. Yesterday, I or this morning rather, I literally went to sleep at like five or six in the morning. Um, so I can't believe I'm up right now, but I'm gonna take a nap <laughs> and then I'm going to fulfill my task for the day. A turn of events. Let me turn my events down. I napped for way too long. It is now 5 14 p.m. Um, I kept waking up and I just kept going back to sleep. So I decided to give myself the time to sleep because I know this week I'm gonna be working. So I'm not gonna be able to sleep as much. And I guess my body just really needed to catch up with the rest. I've been trying to give myself the benefit of the doubt and really like trying to like listen to my body and she said go back to sleep sis so 
I was in and out of sleep for a couple of hours. I think I'm just going to go to Target, get my few things that I need to get. Currently just wearing this little fit. Got the same sweater on from this morning. And I found my trusty dusty hat wig. I just threw this on because I didn't feel like gelling down my hair today. It just wasn't giving. So I put this hat on, put my little hat wig on. So I'm gonna go to Target and just get a little bit of week essentials that I need. I am probably just going to edit for a little bit and then eat some dinner because I haven't eaten anything and hit the hay because I have a week of work ahead of me. I'm going to start planning my New Year's goals. Maybe I'll make a whole video about it because I am really interested um, in doing that and I like to plan out what I want to do for the future. I know I'm not the only one that feels this way but we all have a tendency to write down things we want to do and then not actually follow through with them. So I'm trying like a different approach this year. Do methods to achieve them instead of just writing things you want to do and then not following through. But I'm excited to do that. I'm gonna edit this video do some New Year's planning because New Year's is upon us. It's only like two or three weeks away. I'm shook. I can't believe in two weeks it's Christmas. I wasn't even paying attention. I've just been in work mode this whole year. Um, it's been a crazy year. So I'm excited for Christmas, excited for the end of this year. I'm excited for this year to come to a conclusion because next year, I just got a special feeling about it. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around for yet another vlog and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.